Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. In today's video, I wanna share with you a secret about how to hook up and unhook your trailer quickly, even if you have a stabilizer, equalizer bar, or otherwise. How you can do it like that. responsible for you doing this wrong um, this is a tip you want to do right and only do right otherwise your trailer will run away on you but I don't feel like it's any more dangerous than any other way that you unhook and hook up a trailer so use all the same precaution this is Matt and uh, we've been going through how it is that we made the switch from the Airstream to our new bus we just got it washed in preparation for some footage for our new intro video so if you're looking for a new intro video it's coming soon yesterday's intro video was not the intro video that was just a intermediate intro video for the new upcoming intro video that is coming soon so we're here in Destin Florida we're gonna have a great day at the beach but today's video I wanted to share with you something that I had recorded when I had the Airstream and it's a little tip once again for how it is that you can unhook your and hook your trailer hitch up very quickly even if you have some sort of stabilizer bars or uh, equalizer bar system and I think you're gonna be kind of excited about how much quicker this can make hooking up and unhooking uh, we'll take you to the video now so one of the neat tricks that someone told me about on the road, which it's really cool. If you just talk to other RVers, you like learn all sorts of good little tricks. But one of my favorite ones that I've learned is it's not foolproof and it's best if you have two people, but we're going to try it today with just one. We'll see if it works. It may just totally prove this video null, void, not worth watching. So the trick I'm going to show you today is around your sway bars. So you have these uh, sway bars. This is the equalizer. And you know, it's got this, you've got this big old uh, hitch on here. And obviously the sway bar's job is to make the trailer pull, f pull easier and whatnot. Um, what you'll notice is that I actually have the whole thing still connected, which is the trick. Um, what I was doing when I first bought it is, and you could, I think we've got some other videos where we showed this, you, you would take, you know, these bars out, um, this would stay on the truck, you'd have to raise and lower this thing so that you could get it all off, you know, take some time. Now, it's nice, I have Ty, and when he's feeling well, he usually does that for me, so that's cool. But someone told me, you don't have to take it off, so I was like, okay. And at first I thought he meant you can just leave these bars, right? So you could just slide them back, leave the bars there. But then I thought one day, it's like, why don't we try this? What if I just unhook this piece and then pull out? And now the key is you got to make sure you have your wheel chocks in and that your wheels, because your wheel chocks are what's going to hold the trailer back. Actually, I've got a video where I show the coming off first. So let's actually jump to that real quick. So when you do this little trick detaching part it's really simple so all i did was i you know i've now got a handy a, a hammer handy that makes it a lot quicker so i got this where i raised this up to enough that i could this thing would go through pretty easily you can see it's going through there pretty easily if you put if it's too far down if it's too far down it won't be if it's too far up it won't be it'll be kind of tight so if you just raise it up a little bit so the weight's being shared here. Now what's gonna happen is when I come off, you're gonna see it, it's gonna pop because it's gonna pull out and drop. Sounds, makes a little bit of a boom. Biggest key when you do this is make sure you have your wheel chocks in because if not, you could potentially pull this thing forward off of the yellow blocks, especially if you had more than two. And you know, you could potentially, I mean, that, that pull's pretty strong. I, I doubt you could really do a whole lot of damage, but definitely want to make sure you got your wheel chocks in so actually here I'll let you watch it from here
Here it is. And there it is. Sounds a little scary sometimes, but uh, as long as you got everything disconnected, it always seems to work. And from there, you can even just kind of twist this thing off to one side or the other. So the one thing when you disconnect it is you obviously want to make sure you put a lock on there to make sure that that the actual bar that was connecting to your truck, uh, the underside of your hitch is now locked so no one can just pull their hitch or their truck up and uh, hook up. So that's the next step. And now let's get back to actually the hooking back to the truck section of this program. Now then when it's time to hook up, which is what I'm going to demonstrate right now, then all you got to do is you back up the truck. Now this is going to be the question because I've never done this by myself and it may not be possible because there is some alignment that's really tricky. With a secondary person though, it's super easy because basically Ty just tells me where to line up. We pull this pin out and then I'm literally just backing up onto the trailer. It slides right in. Sometimes I have to go back and forth a couple times, but usually I can get it pretty close within one or two shots. Um, we let, raise that thing up, it, it's perfectly level, and I just back into it. He, he matches this thing in there, and we're ready to roll. So this is, it's really a two-person solution. In fact, I'm just thinking through this as I'm telling you about this. I really highly doubt I'm going to be able to do this on my own, not without jumping in and out several times, which is probably not going to be worth doing versus the other way by myself because it's too many potential back and forth but we're gonna, I'm gonna try it by myself we'll see how it goes and then I'll give you my conclusion whether or not this is a one-man option that's a good solution or if it's only a two-man option but definitely if you have a two-man option spouse kids that can help you out with this uh, patient one someone that's not going to get all irritated if it doesn't work the first time uh, then then I'll let you know and uh, maybe there'll be another opportunity for me to show you with Tyler how it is we do that first thing I got to do is I gotta get these uh, these uh, deals cranked up here. Okay, so we got those up, ready to go. Now then when it's time to hook up, which is what I'm gonna demonstrate right now, then all you gotta do is you back up the truck. Now this is gonna be the question, because I've never done this by myself, and it may not be possible, because there is some alignment that's really tricky. With a secondary person though, it's super easy, because basically Ty just tells me where to line up. We pull this pin out, and then I'm literally just backing up onto the trailer. It slides right in. Sometimes I have to go back and forth a couple times, but usually I can get it pretty close within one or two shots. Um, we let, raise that thing up. It, it's perfectly level, and I just back into it. He, he matches this thing in there, and we're ready to roll. Now for the fun part. We'll see if we can make this work. So everything worked out. I was able to get the truck on the trailer. Well, I say everything worked out except for the camera, which fell in the process of recording it loading on there. So it did take some back and forth for me, which it may if you're by yourself, but like I said earlier, usually if you're with a second person, they can help you get it wrapped up and on track. Um, the biggest key is obviously keeping straight in the process. And if you do that, it'll work great and can speed up your on and off time of your trailer. So. Uh, Hopefully you like the trick, and uh, good luck with your trailer. With that, it's signing off for Streaming Freedom. Thanks for joining us, and subscribe, like, and join us for more adventures as we stream our freedom and travels around the country. Take care.